Hey everyone, good money steward coming at you on a hey, coming at you on a Wednesday, Wednesday afternoon. Been a busy day for me. I went in for about two hours today. Hold on, I gotta cut this water off. So, like I said, I went in for a couple of hours this morning, had some business. I had to go take care of today, so I only worked um what about two hours or so and then I left. And <laughs> Um, we're supposed to. I don't know if it's still going to happen. Everything just seems so crooked on me just today. Um, we're supposed to get rain and possible some snow. So I know we got it on uh, Monday. It was cold. So, but let's get started. I got a small haul. The, the area that I had to go and do my business this morning happened to have a Dollar Tree that I had not been to in a long time and like I said I have to travel to find anything love my neighborhood store where the girls work they do a great job but they have absolutely nothing and then they don't have the staff to stack the shelves so that means so I was over that way and I thought let me go in here walked in there and it's just amazing this there's shelves are fully stocked and this isn't a busy neighborhood Population is big, and they have full shelves with a lot of stuff we don't have. But let me say this real quick. I got a card from one of my friends. I don't like to call you guys subscribers anymore. You've become friends. And uh, Shade, I got your card. Isn't that lovely? And uh, he was thanking me. Uh, thanking me. He was uh, telling me um, yeah, just a quick note to say happy fall and happy Thanksgiving. God bless you. The same to you, Shade. The same to you and your mom. I pray nothing but um, a blessed Thanksgiving and a an blessed Christmas holiday. So Merry Christmas. I don't say holiday. I say Merry Christmas because that's what I've said since I was a child. And if that offends someone, I don't apologize. Merry Christmas. Okay, so let's get started. No random order. Just going to do this. I found these chips that I really, really like. They are the Pop Corners, the Crunchy and Wholesome Popcorn Snack White Cheddar. And this is a three ounce bag. So, wanted something to snack on. Sorry for reaching over you. Needed a loaf of bread. We basically do whole wheat bread around here. Wonder Bread, can't go wrong with that. Um, so I grabbed a bag of that. And this is the first time I've seen this. And it is Kikoman Wasabi Sauce, a virtual condiment with a velvety zing. This is a 9 point, what is that, 2.5 uh, bottle. And this lady asked me, she said, is there an expiration? Best Buy May of 2020. She said, is that hot? I said, well, you can't take a whole tablespoon of it. I remember the first time I ever tried it. Oh my God, it opened up everything, but I love this, especially when I'm eating seafood. So this is what it looks like, and it was in the dollar store for a dollar. If I were to go to a regular store, it would not be a dollar. I'm going to tell you that right now. Okay, so I was glad. That's a new find for me. Uh, found this strong and soft bathroom, bathroom, bathroom tissue. Uh, it's two-ply. It's four rolls. Can't beat that for a dollar. They had the Scott, but I didn't get the Scott. I got this. So, And then I finally saw these. Like I said, you got to go to other places to find things. These are the shadow switching sponges, sponge, where you can clean your brushes, your makeup brushes. And I thought, what a fabulous gift for Christmas. So they had a couple. These two were not open, so I grabbed those. Who can go wrong with the uh, top Roman noodles? You get five in a pack. We like the beef flavor. So I grabbed that. Can't go wrong with these peaches. These are the Pam Paul peach slices and heavy syrup. Oh my God, I love these. And I'm not a big fan of peaches in the can, but these are very, very good because they're not mushy. I like them. They're firm. Um, got a Pepsi. Needed that to go with my chili. Made some homemade chili. We're still eating off of that. From Monday, it was so good. I must say, I did a real good job on that um, chili. And then this roll 
Cola Herbal Immune Support Immune System Helps Fight Fatigue. I've never tried this, but I've seen a lot of people haul this, and it has 24 drops. Let me see what this looks like. And I said, well, you know what? Oh, okay, they come in a... They come in the bag like this. This is what they look like. They come in the bag, and then they have them individually wrapped. So I said, I'm going to try it. But sometimes my throat gets dry or I feel a little... Need a little energy, a little boost. So I grabbed that. First time getting these. Um, and of course, I found my seeds. I'm telling you guys, if you see these, you need to grab them. These are Biggs Taco Bell Taco Supreme Sunflower Seeds. I have gotten so hooked on these that no other sunflower seeds taste good. I just don't like them anymore. Okay. Weightless Wendy. I tell you, look what I found. I found the Russell Stover's Caramel Latte. These things are so good, guys. And these are big portion candies. Oh, my gosh. You go to the Russell Stover's store, you're going to pay more than a dollar for one of these. And then I got two of the House Blend coffees. Oh, they are so, so good. So if you find these, you better grab them because they go off the shelves really fast. Um, I found two of the placemats, and it has no L, but you know what? Christmas pillows. That's what I'm going to do with these, because I've got about four Christmas pillows found at the thrift store. Very clean, like brand new, and I'm going to make those. And then I finally found the coffee mug with the chalks on it. I thought I would get it. I'm not a big fan of their cups because they really as far as hot and you know what I don't know if this is BPA it does not say it on here not recommended for use in microwave or dishwasher so I'll probably drink orange juice uh, water or whatever in these because I don't know not a big fan of them I don't run to buy them like I did when I first you know was we're seeing them out they're cute but they're cheap Got to remember that, guys. And this was probably the best buy, the best buy I found there today. Now, mind you, this is the, the Children's Palace. You see the tag on there? $10.50. And this is what I found. This t-shirt. And it says, uh, what is that? What is that? I got to read it because... It says grid iron tough. And I have in mind who I'm going to send these to for their boys because she has the sweetest three boys. So, and I'll get in touch with her, but, and see, look, the tax, $10.50. This one is bro, bro goals. I mean, they're nice. These shirts are so nice. And then, oh, this one is super genius. And this one glows in the dark. It glows in the dark. And this is Children's Palace. I mean, I, when I saw, I was like kind of passed by. And then I thought, no, that's not right. I know I'm seeing stuff. And then I got to move and I'm, I'm like, that is right. And then I found these little cute ones. You know, I'm going to be a grandma again, my son. Um, they're expecting a little boy, Children's Palace. And I can't see the price on this because they got the, or is it tore off? But anyway, this was... This one says, straight up mama's boy. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh. And then this one. It doesn't have a saying on it. But, uh, I'm trying to see if this is, doesn't have the name in there. But look at that. Did a video tiny shirt. But those were probably the best buys I found at, um, is there anything else in here? At, uh, the Dollar Tree. And so I was happy about that. 
a few items like I said I'm gonna say this because I haven't been on for a while and there are sometimes and please take this as I say it there are sometimes I don't feel like doing videos um, I just don't and when I don't feel that way I don't I don't force myself to do it I do what needs to be done and so um, there are some things that go on in my life that have to be addressed because this is the real world. This is my real world. Um, and so I don't, I don't come on and I can't feel guilty about it. And I don't come on and apologize because I haven't loaded any videos or whatever. I am blessed to have this community of new friends. I don't like to call you subscribers because a lot of you have become friends. And I don't want to just look at you as subscribers. I want to look at you as a brand new group of people that I have been blessed to encounter through this type of media. And so, um, this is, as I said before, this is a hobby for me. This is a hobby. Um, and so, hobbies, you don't always, you're not, to me, you're not there every day. Hobbies are far and in between for me. And so, I, I, you know what? I just I have to keep it real. And you know what? It, with me, I've always said this to my friends. What is your motive? And that's what I had to ask myself. What is my motive for coming on and sharing things and doing this type of um, outlet? And for me, really, it has been almost a way of just opening myself up to meet other people because people always think that I am so out there that I'm, you know, and I'm not. I'm the type of person um, I choose very carefully who I choose to hang around with, my associates, that's just me. I'm very cautious. Now, when I was younger, I wasn't, but I learned from that. So I am blessed. I am blessed. Like I got the card today from Shay. That was beautiful. I enjoy that. You know, never met him, but he sends me the card. We communicate, and I love that. I never want to take for granted that you choose to come to my channel. Never. And it's not just about me having a number. Because if you begin to get to a point where it's all about how many subscribers I can get, and I know people get paid, and that's great that you can do that, and you can get people to come to your channel, and you're making money because then that becomes a job. So, yes, you've got to work like that. This is not a job for me. This is me coming to say hello, how you doing, this is what I found, and still enjoy it and not be stressed out about it. That's what this is about, and I love it. I do. And that's why I had to say with the holidays coming up, you may not see me all the time. There are some things I've done. I've got the blankets and everything. I've got that completed. I just need to stuff some of them now and get stuff in the mail. And that was fun. Uh, I'll probably do a tablescape. I'm not going to do all that other stuff. Uh, I may do some DIYs. I may show you how I did them while doing them. And I may just show them to you after they're done. But I want to make it a fun holiday. I don't want to make, oh, God, I didn't do that DIY. Oh, I didn't share that. Oh, I'm not going there. I'm not going to go there. But what I do wish for everyone these coming holidays, Thanksgiving and Christmas, is that, trying to see what my time is, y'all is that everyone has a blessed holiday, that you enjoy your family, that you do what's good for you. You do what's good for you. Don't be obligated to feel like you have to do this, and you have to go there, and you have to get this person a gift, and you have to, because I'm not. As I get older, life is more precious to me, and everybody's not going to fit in. You know, and I'm going to say this and then I'm going to get off of here. I can't go to everybody's channel. Being honest here, there are some people I, I probably watch more than others. But that's not to say you don't have a good channel. I sometimes wonder, how do people get all through all those videos? If you get through all those videos, you must have some kind of magic. Because I can't. But I do my best. So I'm not going to tell you I go through all of those. But I just want you to know that I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying watching a lot of the things that are going on. So until our next video, be blessed. Love you. God loves you too.